This episode is all about lemon chicken. It is a fantastic recipe to make. It's being served with some pan fried vegetables and of course soft fluffy rice and all weight conversions. Ingredients, substitutes and nutrition values are listed in the description. Starting out, we're gonna get the most out of two heads of broccoli. We're gonna use a sharp paring knife and just run it around the stem just to remove the florets into nice bite-sized pieces. You may have some pieces that are bigger than the others, so we're just going to trim them up, making sure that they're all the same size, and this will just ensure that everything cooks at the same time and temperature. With the stem, definitely don't throw this away. This is packed with sweet flavor and obviously lots of nutrition. We can just remove the outer layers because these can be a little bit woody. I prefer to use them all. You can throw them away. Some people do find them bitter. And then we're just going to trim this up into bite-sized pieces, preferably the same size as the florets. If you didn't want to use these in this recipe, you can also save them, freeze them, and use them in soups in the future. With the bottom of the broccoli stem though, I do recommend throwing this away as it's really bitter and quite hard. But other than that, this is all that needs to be done. Next is 250 grams of washed green beans. All we need to do with these is remove the top and tail of them. They can be a bit hard. Obviously, it contains the stem too. It's up to you how you want to do this, and you can leave them whole or chop them in half. Now with the veg out of the way, we're gonna need two lemons for our sauce. These can both just be sliced in half and then juiced on a citrus juicer or by hand. Just make sure no seeds decide to hop in because it's definitely not nice having seeds in your sauce. Last but not least, swap out your board to a board that you dedicate to chicken. Slap down one kilo of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. Slice this into nice strips, then dice into bite-sized pieces. Obviously this right here isn't one kilo of chicken, but this right here is. Now to make our sauce, add 125 milliliters of chicken stock to a small mixing bowl, along with three cloves of garlic that can be ran along a microplane to create a paste, and you can also put this along a fine box grater. Next, we're going to add in the juice of both of those lemons, 80 milliliters of honey, which I've put in the microwave for about 20 seconds just to loosen it up, two and a half grams of onion powder for a strong concentrated flavor, 30 milliliters of soy sauce for a salty umami flavor, 10 milliliters of sesame oil for a strong nutty flavor, and 12 grams of corn flour, which will help thicken this up once it reaches the heat. Let's then get in there with a whisk and mix this up just until everything is combined and that corn flour is broken down. Test it for seasoning and adjust if necessary with sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper. 10 cracks worth. Get back in there again with the whisk and mix this to combine. As for cooking, place a large saucepan over high heat, add in 350 grams of washed basmati rice, 700 milliliters of cold water, which is a two to one ratio, and sea salt flakes to taste. Then just give this a mix around to prevent any clumps from forming and bring it to a boil. Once boiling, place on a lid and lower the heat to low and cook for 14 minutes undisturbed. In the meantime, place a large pan over medium high heat, add in 30 milliliters of olive oil and then dump in the broccoli as well as the stems, a pinch of sea salt flakes to taste and saute this for three to four minutes just until the broccoli starts to gain a nice little golden brown color. You also don't have to use broccoli if you're not a fan, you can use a whole wide range of all of your favorite different vegetables. Now after four minutes and our broccoli softened up and starting to gain nice color, let's add in the green beans and continue sauteing for about three minutes, just mixing it through regularly. We can also add in some cracked black pepper at this stage. Follow that up with 80 milliliters of water. This is going to allow it to steam. We can then place on a lid and allow it to cook for two minutes before removing the lid, mix it around and what you should have is perfectly cooked vegetables, which are soft, but still do have a nice bite to them. Remove this from the stovetop and transfer the veg into a bowl or plate or whatever you have. And we're going to reuse the pan to save dishes. And this right here is the macros for five individual servings. After 14 minutes, we can go back to the rice, turn it off the heat and leave the lid on for a final four minutes before removing it and fluff it up with a fork or spatula, leaving us with this perfect soft fluffy rice. And these are all of the macros for five individual 210 gram servings. Now the best part's the honey chicken, so place the same pan back over a high heat, add in 20 milliliters of olive oil and slide in your thighs. Spread them out evenly across the bottom of the pan. This is going to ensure that they get really nice color all over and cook evenly. Season to taste with sea salt flakes, then mix and cook regularly for 10 minutes, which will cook the chicken all the way through and gain really nice color and flavor. After 10 minutes, give it another mix through to ensure nothing is stuck and that chicken is cooked through and has nice color. Add in all of the sauce mixture, and then again, mix this for one and a half to two minutes. And during this process, it will come to a boil and the corn flour will react to the heat and thicken the sauce, coating everything really well. This is completely optional, but I'm adding in five grams of both white and black sesame seeds for a nice pop of color. Also checking it for seasoning with sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper. Then mix this through just for about 20 seconds, just until that sauce is completely thick. And preferably don't set your tea towel on fire like I did here. Also, this is all of the nutrition values for 200 grams or five servings of the lemon chicken.
With serving, if we look back throughout the video on those nutrition cards, I've put it down as 210 grams of rice, 130 grams of the veg mix, and 200 grams of the honey chicken, but you might want to lower those amounts and get six or seven portions out of this. I am also going to sprinkle over some black sesame seeds on the rice to give it a nice pop of color, but with all of that done, we have just created these absolutely incredible lemon chickens that are perfect for pretty much any occasion. As for storage, we can place on the lid and get these in the fridge as soon as possible where they'll last four days and four months in the freezer. But if you're using the meal prep containers that I have, you can use the vacuum seal pump to make these last five days in the fridge. This is the complete dish nutrition values for all of those weights that I said just before. But with all of that done, we can then dig in. Now I made this a couple of times, the sauce wasn't as good in those previous times, but this is absolutely perfect. The consistency is just right and coats the chicken really well, and obviously the flavor is incredible too. The vegetables are obviously just vegetables, you can swap and change, and I'll leave a few things about that in the description, and the rice is super soft and fluffy. Overall, this combination works absolutely perfectly, and I really hope you enjoy it.